Mesa Reservoir inside of Kirikani National Recreation Area. There are many different jobs in the National Park Service that work together to protect these special places. And today, I'm joined by Ranger Nathan, and he's gonna tell us about what it's like to be a biological science technician. Hi, could you tell us a little about your job? Yeah, so yep, I'm a biological science technician with the National Park Service. I specialize in hydrology and aquatic invasive species, which means I study the water, what lives in, in the water, and try to keep out the plants and animals that would negatively impact the rivers, lakes, and streams around us. Can you tell me what a typical day is like? Yeah, so that's something I really love about my job. Uh, just the variation that'll be from day to day. Some days we'll go out and collect water samples on some of the tributaries and streams that run into the lake here and process them in our lab. Other days we'll go out on the boat, collect plankton toes and search for aquatic invasive species. Other days we'll go search our national park for new wetlands and seeps and springs to study and monitor. And other days we'll respond to algae blooms and other water quality issues that come up throughout the season. What classes did you take to prepare you for this career? There was one course in college that really stood out, um, a watershed management, which I sought out uh, my senior year because of my growing fascination with the natural systems that I saw surrounding me, the rivers, creeks, the ocean that was right there. And in watershed management, I learned a lot about how everything is interconnected in the, the, the water system and cycles. And that led to my career here. What's your favorite part of your job? My favorite part of my job has to be that I'm learning something new all the time. There's always something new to discover and we monitor about 12 different water quality sites throughout the park. Uh, each one has a completely unique profile of aquatic life, water chemistry, and seasonal flow. That makes my job very interesting because I get to study and learn about the world around me and I play where I work and get to really love what I do. Have you had any memorable moments in Kirikanti that you'd like to share? Absolutely. Yeah, so the first season I was working here, I was cross-training with the aquatics program. We were out on the boat collecting water samples as we usually do. Uh, when a scene from a National Geographic special pretty much unfolded in front of us, there was a eagle and osprey that began fighting midair over a fish. Uh, they were performing incredible aerial acrobatics when they became entangled and then crashed into the water with this tremendous splash. The eagle emerged with a ferocious explosion of water and pretty much looked like a dragon emerging from a volcano. Both of them flew off in different directions without the fish, but it really hit me just how special an area is that can be home to two competing apex predators and they live surrounded by mountains and wilderness and beautiful creeks and canyons that they can survive and thrive on. And the fact that I'm entrusted to protect these treasured waters is truly an honor. What matters to you about the work that you do? Well, water is crucial to all life on earth and Every natural system and human system uh, depends on water. And uh, because only about 1% of water on Earth is usable as fresh water, uh, pollution and shortages are becoming ever increasing issues in our world today. So it takes dedicated people who want to find sol solutions uh, to get out there and really make a difference so future generations can enjoy the beauty and security that we all enjoy today. What advice would you give to someone who wants to become a water scientist? Well, look in your own backyard. Whether you know it or not, there's a creek somewhere near by you and there are nonprofits all over the country trying to protect and preserve the water systems that we all depend on. 
So get out there and look what's nearby you and see if there's any sort of action that you can take to protect your own backyard. What is important to you about doing this work for the National Park Service? I love working for the National Park Service because we get to protect and help others experience the most cherished and beautiful places in our, in our country. This is our legacy and I'm proud to be someone who, who protects it for others to enjoy. Well, thank you so much, Ranger Nathan. I know I learned a lot today about what it's like to be a water scientist for the National Park Service. I encourage you to learn about the water near where you live, and maybe someday you can come work with us as a biological science technician.